<laughs> Game resumed. Okay then. I don't like bugs. <laughs> See. Even though you know, here's the thing, I recognize spiders are actually amazing because they catch all the other even worse bugs. But mm -hmm. still, it's just something like the creepy crawly effect, right? Oh yeah, I got a, I, I, yeah, I got a spider stuck in my hair when I was like really, really ah, young, ah, ah, and they like they couldn't find it. Ah. So, I guess they like washed out, right? But like I didn't comb my hair when I was really young either. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can see that. <laughs> just like unkempt little messy zombie grubs, just, like five year old toddler just running around. Yeah, that was basically me. Are you Korean? I'm looking for a Korean husband. The fuck are you talking about? It's my like imitation of you when you're like five, you know? Why am I getting a career husband? Korean. Oh, I thought you meant like <laughs> yes. I was like in the like, I mean, military like... guys when I was like five. Like, Korean career? They don't have to be mutually exclusive. I'm just saying. <laughs> But alright guys, welcome back. Game number four currently underway. He's on his last life in the semifinals. Loser of this best of five gets at least $50 for their participation in the tournament. Spawning in the south, it's Complexity Sound Blasters. Bug Killing Menace, Moose Skills. Maybe he can transfer those skills to this game. In the top position as the Red Zerg, it's Liquid Snoot. I thought you said transfer his gills to this game. <laughs> I'm loving it's 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 like we're playing uh what's that what's that game telephone right telephone where I'll say a word and whisper to a friend and then they whisper to a friend and it keeps going around and it started out as like banana hammock but comes out as like mustard sandwich <laughs> like why <laughs> what's a mustard sandwich it's gross exactly oh okay actually I'm gonna make the argument here I think banana hammocks are grosser but that's just me. And for those who don't know what I'm talking about, don't Google it. It's not worth it. It's a Speedo. Yeah, but it's just like if you Google it, you're going to get like the worst pictures I would imagine. I, I would say that it, it depends on the person who's wearing it, but I really don't think it looks good on anyone, no matter how, how hot your body is. I feel like... I feel like too, like just again going back to the point of Google for a sec. I don't think there's gonna be any like, oh, here's an empty, not worn. Hey, you want me to? Uh, you want to bet? You want to bet? I'm gonna Google it. I feel like you're just gonna get a lot of dudes with thongs, man. <laughs> Banana hammock, Tumblr, Amazon, pictures, Urban Dictionary. No, you gotta go to image search. You can't just do like regular search. I am. I am. That was the suggested searches, though. Oh, the suggested. Ooh. So there's a picture of an actual like. Bananas in a hammock, as well as a hammock for <laughs> ferrets that's in the shape of a banana. Okay. But a lot of these are the like the ones that like Borat wears. <laughs> I like very much. And then there's also I don't even know this existed. There's like half banana hammocks where it only goes over one leg. Okay, stop. Uh, <laughs> we do have the links trying to scout the base of Snoop, but Snoop actually does a great job blocking this out. Uh, not a lot of people do this. Uh, take the time to actually. Uh, over the block because I think a lot of Zergs value their own scouting information more. But I love that he denies a set of moose skills because for moose skills, there's a little more on the line. Like if you get denied scouting in game one, you don't really care. But there is that mild degree of frustration and let's be honest, fear that comes with the fact that you're on your last life. Mm. Yeah, yeah, but it is on your home turf, I guess. So that's kind uh, of feel a little bit better. Maybe the lag really is a lot better and he feels tons better. I don't know. Maybe it's like a mental thing. He's just sitting there hoping, like, not that his lag is good, but Snoots is bad. <laughs> yeah, that too. Yeah. Uh, well, Moose Skills, again, going for the gasless type of build here. It worked out. It hasn't really been the cause of his frustrations in the past few games, I guess is the best way to put it. Um, you know, the, the wall off of the Queens didn't quite happen. That's bad luck. And then that third game, you didn't got a gold base, also kind of bad luck. It's not the fault of the build that you chose. And again, going for the gold base. And this size even a higher chance. This of yeah. being unscouted. I mean, Exhibition Law should have had like zero chance of being unscouted, but that's whatever. So, yeah, you're right. And this one, this is like the road less traveled by large margins. This is kind of weird. But if Moose Skills was playing what we expected him to play, something like Mutas, this would have actually, this probably would guaranteedly be seen. But it kind of sucks. Don't know if he'll head that direction. We still don't have a Roach Warren down. Still don't have an Evo Chamber down. He is taking oh. those gases. So, if it is going to be Mutas, this might not be so bad to deal with. Because let's not forget, the other problem with this gold isn't just the fact that it's exposed. But the best thing to deal with the Mutas outside of the Spore Crawlers is going to be Queens. And you're not walking five Queens with no creep spread from the main all the way over to this gold anytime soon. 
Yeah, basically anything that that helps you against Mitas shouldn't be walking that far off of creep, you know? Like, Infestor's gonna get picked off, Hydra's gonna start, like, lagging behind each other, and they get picked off one at a time. Like, it's, it is gonna be difficult to, uh, to defend against, and you can spore crawler that base up. You can get, like, five spore crawlers, make mm -hmm. sure they can't touch it, but then Ling's just run in. Because uh, if Muskos really is going for Mutas, which no, he's, he's not, not, he's getting a Roach Warren, he would have gotten speed too. But fortunately, it's not going to be Mutas. It's going to be simple old Roaches. And yeah, again, he'll have these upgrade leads with double Evo Chambers, but Snoot's going to have so many more Roaches. Uh, transfers to the drone. Uh, transfers the drones to the base. That was really disgusting. Uh, <laughs> and they again, it, who skills? <laughs> has a problem of not having the Overlord close enough to the guaranteed spot, right? Where, like, if he was a little bit closer to the ramp, yes, he kind of risks getting pushed out by a queen, especially since he didn't go for gas. And if Snoot realized that, he would feel, he would feel very comfortable pushing out with a queen. But on the other hand, you don't get to see the speedlings coming out. They could have, again, bypassed his Overlord. You don't see the, dream the drones moving out. Which, again, just, you know, didn't even have to worry about being seen by the Overlord. So uh, you guys can't hear me coughing a lot of the time. I sadly can only mute myself to one source at a time, and it's having our best to hear all the grossness. But uh, oh, I like this creep highway. I was yeah. gonna say really quick. I, I went to the dentist the other day, right, and got like a and scan a thing in my head. Highway? Well, no, but they're basically like, "So, are you feeling okay?" I'm like, "Why?" It's like, "Well, your sinuses are kind of like on full." I'm like, "What do you mean on full? Like, like literally full of mucus right now? Like, you should be very oh. sick." I'm like. Well, I feel very sick. Ugh. Good. It's kind of cool, though. I never gotten, like, a scan on my head before. There's, like, a CT scan or whatever. So it's like... Dude, my really? skull is, like, CT huge. Scan? Well, so I haven't been to the dentist in eight years. And they basically said, you're screwed in many different ways. We need to find out all the ways. So we recommend doing oh. this. Oh, okay, then. I was going to say, I've gotten my, uh... Like, they had to see my spine where my neck is, they had, like, uh, yeah, the actually, like, in my mouth, basically. Yeah, they, they said it so they could see where my neck was resting, too. I'm apparently slightly aligned to the left or something. I don't... Oh, yeah, yeah. So I, I had that one. Yeah. Uh, well, um, <clears throat> actually, during our talk, Snoot has been benefiting from this gold base for a long time, so yeah. we already see the supply <clears throat> difference hitting. Well, it's... At the moment, though, it is, it's heavily in drones more than roaches. I mean, having about 10 extra supply in roaches is perfectly reasonable to deal with on a defender's advantage situation. But that's, I think, the worst case scenario for Moose Kills, because if he's on a defender's advantage, Snoot's just going to keep pushing over and over and over again. And uh, peeks into that golden season once again. No, mm. this is actually really interesting, by the way. I want to stress something here. I actually asked Snoot, I said, hey, you know, for a lot of these tournaments, we share replays with our subs, and we plan to do it with this one. I know you have WCS coming up. Do you want us to not share your replays? I don't, you know, because it's a respectful thing to do. Uh, he said he actually doesn't care. So this is a little bit interesting because I wonder as well, like, these sort of builds, these sort of gold bases are not something he's known for, but it's dangerous to reveal information like this. I mean, I, I don't actually remember who's in his group or not. Maybe there's no Zerg, so he doesn't care. But still, it's, it's almost insane, I'd say, that this is, like, something that... We just we don't see often ZVZ ever, much less out of Snoot. Yeah, that I remember bringing that up yesterday. But you know he has been streaming, and on a stream he does gold base and against two. So maybe it is only for like um, non WCS tournaments. You know, <laughs> like, uh, they they seem pretty strong with their own once in a while. But I guess you just rather play standard in WCS tournaments. I don't know. But suits, like you said, like ten roaches, not a big deal. Ten army supply, not a big deal. And in fact, the upgrades are kind of gonna help make that, you know, pretty even. It's just that Snoot's starting to bank a lot of money. So they're both going to get max, and that's that's cool. Moose Kills has survived. He didn't try and, and attack Snoot at any point. But when it comes down to a fight, and as long as it's not, like, horribly in favor of Moose Kills, Snoot's going to remax so much faster and be able to push so much harder. It, uh, he's already going up to Hydra's as well. Again, those upgrades are going to be, you know, he's going to be behind, but only by a little bit. As uh, Plus Two Carapace was pretty far behind for Moose Skills. Oh, I was gonna go into Banelings and Roaches. Cool. First, want to hit the Hydras with the Banelings more often than not, but uh, they're not so bad against Club Thub Roaches. They're pretty good, actually. Especially if you get like 20 of them with the Baneling speed. Well, the Roaches. It's. I, I mean, the okay, so the Baneling thing you do that you combine with going over the supply limit is always really cool. And it's going to be really effective versus the Hydras, but if Moose Kills gives all of his roaches away now, that's not going to come into effect. 
He does have an equal roach count, but he's got no hydras on the backside of this. If he can chew through enough of the roaches of snoot, he starts focusing on some of the hydras. Hydras start crumbling like nobody's business. They're squishy oh, and crumbly, but uh, he's not even going to break that roach line. That was, no, oh, that was bad. That was bad. Because I just, it, Snoot has also this huge bank that he's using to get instantly remaxed since Moose Scales is having trouble, even with 20 roaches on the way, to get him up 160. So, I mean, this is, uh, Snoot could have probably pushed in and continued to do a lot more damage, but looking to maybe wait for all of his reinforcements. He's on the one of the gold base, and he's getting a fourth base. I don't know why he's getting a fourth base there. Did he forget that there's a third base behind him? I know he forgot about the, the natural. <laughs> This is like, uh, yeah, the, yeah, the natural thing yesterday where this wasn't. I mean, it's a safer third. <laughs> uh, well, well, that's his choice, man. <laughs> Just like your opinion. Uh, but he's starting to clear up the uh, overlords that were spread around the map for move skills. So and that's definitely what, what, something you get from going for hide as opposed to Roach Baneling. Is uh, suddenly your opponent's in the dark. And while Van Eye is a pretty straightforward map, there are at least two avenues that you could mm. potentially kind of sneak attack or you know, wrap around or whatnot. The Banelings are would be helpful most of the time. Moose Gill's scraping by for gas, just doesn't have enough to morph them all. I mean, as we see with these Roach Clumps, the Banelings just end up doing a lot of damage. Not because it's bonus damage, but just because it hits everything. Mm. It's like the Reaper that Grenade in Conundrum, right? Like, it hits for 10, but it hits everything. <laughs> Now, this attacking right before Baneling's speed, and actually the splits are pretty good from Snoot. Yeah, I like I, that. he's still got a huge lead in army supply coming into this. Muskos does have the roach lead, I'll give him that much. If he, and again, if he breaks Snoot's roaches, he'll he'll just cripple the Hydras, no problem. But uh, despite this great defensive engagement, Snoot still has a lot of money to remax with. And while this is one really good victory for Muskos, I don't know if this will carry him through this game. He still yeah, lost his doesn't drones. really care. Yeah. 27 was, roaches, not a problem. He was prepared to take that. I mean, as long as the Banelings didn't get amazing hits again, and then, like he's down by like 70 supply, and there's an immediate counterattack, Snoot could take any engagement that he wanted to. And in fact, he probably has another bank to do another terrible engagement again, and, and probably be okay. Just like he had like a 4k bank, 1k gas, and he's already up on his way to another bank. So he's close to uh, being maxed out with last roaches coming through. Yeah. And just to explain, because I guess I'm looking at the chat and some people are confused. Uh, to overmax, it's not like a, it's not a cheat or anything like that. It's uh, what you do is you take all your drones and build like 40 spore crawlers, and then while the spore crawlers are building, the drones count is not existing anymore. You build roaches, take the supply, cancel all the spore crawlers, keep the drones, get new roaches, easy peasy. But uh, that's not, mm. that trick not necessary here. Snoop just comes in with a regular max out. There's even a high tech investment behind this. There's a uh, festival this is coming up next. I mean. Oh, he's got more roaches this time. He's probably going to win the fight. Moose Skills put up a good battle, and he's got an upgrade lead, but even with Defender's advantage, these roaches and hydras are perhaps just a little bit too much. Yeah, the hydras outweighing the upgrade lead that Moose Skills did have. We're going to have infestors with, with the next wave of attack, and it looks like the NA server is not Moose Skills' lucky server. It's not his day. So he's going to go into the grand finals and face the winner of Igus and Wellmoo. That one's really interesting to me because Iga's. I don't know if I've ever seen Iga's play against Snoot. We saw Wellmu yesterday, but of course, we've also seen Wellmu versus Snoot many times.